Hi guys, I just got done making soup and I didn't like the way it tastes, so now I'm going to do something that is almost foolproof. I've never made these sugar cookies, but how can you go wrong with a sugar cookie, right? It says to chill overnight or at least for a few hours, but I'm just going to chill it overnight because it's late and I have to go to work early in the morning. I'm going to make these sugar cookies. So I'm going to make the dough. And I did not have enough sugar. I had exactly one cup. The recipe calls for two cups, so I'm going to half this recipe also. I've already got one of my eggs in my bowl. Now for the other. Oh, well, maybe I should, um... It asked for four eggs. I put two. It asked for one and a half cups softened butter. I'm putting three quarters of a cup. That butter is not soft enough, so that's cool. <sighs> I'll have to let it soften some more. Usually I follow the rules and I separate my wet and dry ingredients, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Thank you, Suri. I've got the butter, sugar, eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, but I'll need like half, Meep. oh, half a teaspoon of salt, and baking powder. I prefer aluminum-free baking powder just because, just because. I don't remember if it was the taste or what brought me to that decision, but I've made that decision. And because I'm having this, it's not one teaspoon baking powder, it is, it is not two teaspoons baking powder, it is one. And since this is a half measuring spoon, I will do two of these. And then I'm going to mix this all together when the butter will soften a little bit more. And then I'll add the flour and mix just until combined. I've stirred it together and now I'm adding the flour. Just two and a half cups because I'm having this recipe. I'm going to mix it just until it's combined. Does that make sense? Hi, I pulled the dough out of the fridge and it is time to roll out my sugar cookies and cut them. Believe it or not, I've never made sugar cookies that I can recall by myself. Rolling out dough and cutting them. So we're gonna try it out. Oh, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees containers and store it in the freezer so that I can use a cup full at a time, period. I can't find myself opening an entire bottle to use half a cup in a recipe, period. I'm torn, comma. I would like to talk to you about cooking pans. I absolutely love this cooking pan. It was suggested from America's Test Kitchen and I purchased it from Amazon. I believe that dark colored metal cookie pans, which are the only ones I've ever had, cook the cookies faster. And these lead me to have, these lead me to bake incredible snickerdoodles. Did I tell you my snickerdoodles were a 10 out of 10? I'm going to make those for you also. I don't know how regular sugar cookies are though, so I know that if you spray the surface of a cookie sheet, the cookie bakes faster on the bottom. I don't want to burn the bottoms of these because the cookie grease, the cooking spray is oil and it browns faster and it will crisp up the bottom of your cookie. So I try not to use cooking spray when I'm making cookies. So I'm just going to take some regular parchment paper for the first batch and see how they do on the parchment paper. If it goes well, that's what I'll use. Otherwise, I'll just try it straight on the pan without parchment paper. So I have this set up so that I can cut my cookie and cookies and just lay them 
on the cookie sheet. I got flour all over this. I'm going to flour the counter. I don't have giant counter space, so I'm going to do a little bit of dough at a time. And I've never really worked with sugar cookie dough before. Roll dough on floured surface. Half an inch or a quarter inch thick. Cut with a cookie cutter. Place one inch apart on ungreased cookie sheets. It's hard to estimate how big they are. I got this cookie cutter from Michael's yesterday. Eh, might be a little too thin. Maybe it's perfect? Is that a perfect sugar cookie? We'll see. I'm going to go put it on my tray. I redid the whole thing because there was cracks and I, I really am kind of a I don't think I'm a perfectionist, but I just don't like ugly looking things if I can control the ugly. And cracks in sugar cookies, I think, are ugly. Yeah, this is much better. We'll see I can get a couple leaves out of this. I hope they're the same width as the other one was. Maybe that's a key. Try to get all of the cuts out of the same roll so that they are all the same width and cook evenly. I don't really know. I'm going to put these in the oven. No, I'm not. That's another one of the things that I meant to tell you guys to get is an oven thermometer. Okay, here's what's going through my head. When I make snickerdoodles, which is a 10 out of a 10, and I'll make that recipe for you guys, I will eat handfuls of dough because I can't not. This sugar cookie dough, I can do without eating handfuls of dough. So, my thoughts are, were the ratings so high on this recipe because the dough was easy to handle, but does it sacrifice taste? What makes a good sugar cookie. I will not sacrifice taste just because it's easier to handle. I'll, I'll, they'll smell done. Almost. You know what I mean? So after I frost them, I'm, I have a test leaf. I ran out of dough and the leaf has like, the edge of it is, ah. so that's going to be my test leaf. I'm going to frost it and taste it, see how I like it. And if I'm not completely impressed with the taste, I'm going to try some different sugar cookie doughs because I would rather have an amazing tasting sugar cookie than something that just is a good sugar cookie and looks great. I want both. I want the best of both worlds. Also, I wish I had a bigger counter. I have a lot of OXO products. I must love this place. This line. They've started to brown on the edges. I feel the center and they're totally done. I probably could have taken them out a little bit sooner. So these might be more of a crunchy sugar cookie. I'm going for a soft sugar cookie so I'm going to take the other ones out just a little bit sooner. The recipe for the cookies and the icing did not come together. So I do not know how much icing this makes. And I know I halved the sugar cookies, so I'm just going to half the icing as well. One of the reviewers said something about 40 cookies, but I don't know if that was right, and I don't know what they're talking about, so I just wrote 40 cookies? So we'll try that. A cup of powdered sugar. Half a cup powdered sugar. One teaspoon milk. One teaspoon of light corn syrup. Quarter teaspoon almond extract, but I halved the recipe, of course, so I'm gonna use an eighth. Whoa, just spilled. 
whatever. And then food coloring. Wow, that's just a teeny tiny bit of icing here. That seems odd. I use this big giant bowl for no reason. Okay, I have the tiniest bit of icing in the world, so I'm gonna have to do another. I don't know what I'm saying. I want yellow, orange, and red because these are fall esque cookies. So I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do some yellow. could have probably just done with one It didn't even affect the taste. There's five. I don't want it to taste like dye. I'm just going to bring the first batch over. Sure is beautiful. And it's stripping. Reminds me of nail polish because it's very forgiving. A good Nail polish allows for double strokes and is easy to apply because it doesn't show the streaks. So this is more of a very hot pink instead of But I didn't want to put tons of dye. I got these at Michael's on sale, 70% off, so I'm going to sprinkle Sprinkle the yellow ones. Oh, there's no, uh, there's no, um, shaker, probably because they're so fat. So let's just sprinkle a couple of little guys on here. I also got this for 70% off, so that's cool, right? We can sprinkle him with brown. Sprinkle before the icing hardens because you could even take and do, remember these from my tombstones? I can grab the red or maybe the yellow, where's, what's in here? Red it is. Take a cookie, remember to mix it, test it, and do the You know, like the leaf veins or whatever. On to make more. So just have fun with it. I've drawn, I've made vines on my leaves and I've done just sprinkles and I'm obviously gonna need, need to make more icing. For me, half a batch of that icing made one, two, three, four, five cookies. So unless I'm just putting way too much icing, but that's how I prefer my cookie, then you might need a lot more icing also. So I should have made a double batch, not half to the batch. Okay, so I broke one of the cookies just now. I'm in the middle of frosting and as I add icing, I've made two batches so far and I still need, two batches of icing will do, in my opinion, but I go heavily on the icing, I think. But to make the icing a little bit thicker, I just add more powdered sugar or less milk, whichever way you want to look at it. And you can, it's very easy to manipulate 
the icing is very easy to manipulate as far as consistency because if you want it runnier, if you want it to be like a glaze, maybe add more milk, I don't know. But it seems to hold beautiful color and I just broke one so I'm going to try it. Okay? But I broke the cookie. This is a really good sugar cookie. One of the better ones that I've had. I gave this cookie a 9 out of 10. Simply because I think I can make a better dough. So that sounds, this could be a 10 out of 10, but I'm, I don't know. A 10 out of 10 to me makes me never want to try another kind of it ever. Like my chicken pot pie, I never want to try a different chicken pot pie ever because that is the best. Same with my snickerdoodles. They are the best. Same with my spaghetti sauce. That is the best. That's a 10 out of 10 to me. 9 out of 10 means it could potentially be the best out of the best, but I haven't tried them all yet, and I still am intrigued to try more. But this is a really good sugar cookie. These didn't get brown on the edges, but they're absolutely done inside, so if you want a softer cookie, you don't have to wait until the edges are brown. Just tap the top, and if it feels goodish, it's good. It doesn't have to be hard when you tap it, because when you take it out of the oven, it'll still cook. They're so shiny. I love it so much. It'd be fun if I had somebody to help me decorate. This is a lot of cookies to frost, but... I'm down for the challenge, especially if I break more cookies. Don't you love it when a cookie makes you happy? I can't wait to finish frosting them so I can take a beautiful picture. Na 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 tan sugar cookie. Na 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 tan sugar cookie. Okay, so... I have to separate these two because after decorating and seeing how shiny that icing is, and it tastes good too, and it holds color, it's just beautiful and it dries a little hard on the surface so far so that I can kind of stack them a little bit. Um, I think, I find, I'll probably find that in transport the frosting will get a little messed up but that's okay. But that icing gets a 10 out of 10. That icing is the best icing I've ever made for sugar cookies and I've never made sugar cookies before. <laughs> Does that make sense? But the dough, I'm still keeping at a nine because I'm not like super impressed. I think it was really easy to use, but I think that the taste could be amped a little bit as far as deliciousness. But that icing on top of it makes the cookie a nine and a half. Icing 10, cookie dough nine, cookie. I mean, the looks of it, just looking at that because of the icing. 11. <laughs> so let's see. I halved that recipe and I made. Stop singing. I halved that recipe and it made. Having that recipe made. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 11? Made almost 20, 21 cookies? Did I count right? Half of the recipe makes 21 leaves. So if you had, obviously, a smaller cookie cutter, you'd make more cookies, but... Beneath these... I'm giving one of these plates to my mom, but I'm using it because I can't mail it out till tomorrow anyway. Because beneath it says, give thanks, and I think they're really cute. But... I'm just super impressed with the shine of the cookie. It's just glorious. Right? I hope another one breaks right now. <laughs> so that I can eat it. I might have to just eat it to make ten on each plate, right? I can't. I ate that one cookie was so sweet that I need to have some vegetables. Did that make you guys sick? Should I not spin? Sorry. Okay, I'm going to edit and upload this, and I will talk to you guys later. Alright? Okay. Bye.
Now we are going to make the sugar cookie icing. And I need to remember to cut this in half because I cut I cut the cookie dough. I don't know if the rest the rest was in Wow. 